The Modern 1960s Guide to Being a Delicate Dark Girl Always start with a freshly washed face and manicured eyebrows. Eyebrows can be thick or thin, but must always accentuate the face they are on. Then, choose a pigment that is a few shades lighter, but still matches your tone and coloring to brighten up your eye area. You want more attention on your eyes than anywhere else. The eyes are the windows to the soul after all. Now where there is brightness, there must be sparkle. Add just a touch of sheen to your eyelids with a nude color with a satin finish. It's okay to blend out the edges a little with your fingers for a more natural gradient. When it comes to defining the eyes, black is a must. Black brings out the radiance in any eye color, from the bluest blue to the brownest brown. Use upward, lifting strokes and solid lines to extend the eyes and make them appear larger and more shapely. And we must not leave the top out. Lining the top eye line also helps create definition and boldness surrounding the eye. Connect it neatly to the bottom line for a clean finish. My, my, look at those eyes. Add the finishing touches with mascara. Remember, the blacker the better. For a clean, clear face, one must start with a moisturized base. Use unfragranced facial creams, they are best, followed by a good primer lotion. An ideal primer for more oily skin types is a mattifying, oil-controlling primer. For drier skin types, a primer with extra moisture or essences work better. For combination skin, try a mix of both on the spots they apply. For foundation, liquids, creams, or powders are all suitable. Choose your preference. Match your coloring as best possible. The idea is a clean, clear base. Highlighting is an additional personal preference that can bring more light onto different points of the face. Find a lighter concealer in the same tone family as your skin and apply to the high points of your face. For most that means the tops of your cheeks, the front of your cheeks, the philtrum, the bridge of your nose, and the forehead. Remember to blend, blend, blend. You want a seamless, 
natural looking highlight. A red lip flatters everybody and is simple and classic. Start with a liner that matches either your choice of rouge or complements your skin tone. If you're choosing a lip liner that complements your skin tone, make sure it is a shade deeper when possible. Mix and match if you like. You want to use a liner to add shape and dimension. Lastly, apply your rouge of choice. You can never go wrong with lipsticks with a bit of healthy shine. They give the face an overall glowing finish. And voila, a healthy glowing look for the holidays. Stay delicate.